morning everybody today is saturday um april 4th i think <laughs> and today i decided i wanted to do a video to show you how i eat on the weekends because it is a little bit different than how i normally eat i think i've mentioned this in the last video but right now i'm kind of following like a flexible dieting approach which is like similar to like if it fits your macros i don't follow it that closely because that kind of makes me go crazy but i do really like the idea that i can have the, my favorite foods and have it fit into like my goals i try to eat like relatively healthy through the week um, with the exception of like some minor things here and there. Uh, I'm not like a huge believer of like clean eating. I think it's a little bit too restrictive for me at least. But on the weekends I do like to let loose. So um, you will kind of see that as the day goes on. But before I ramble for five minutes and make you watch that, I'm just gonna say, let's go have some breakfast. <laughs> breakfast today we had my usual green smoothie I show this every time I do one of these videos and I'm so sorry that I don't change it up um, but we had the smoothie which has my usual half of a frozen banana spinach kale um, almond milk protein powder and peanut butter but we did have something exciting today to go with it and that was homemade banana bread and I think I guess it's a thing right now that everybody's making banana bread but I've been wanting to do it since this whole thing started so now I feel like I'm basic, but it's fine. <laughs> it's so good. I'm finding that like filling myself up a lot more for breakfast has been helping me a lot throughout the day. So that was definitely a good option and it's just fun. Now we are gonna go have a cute little breakfast FaceTime date with Chris's parents. Hi, Bev, Mike and Nanny. <laughs> um, and yeah, it should be fun. It'll take up the next couple of hours for us. And it's a nice little visit from afar. So I'm just gonna go do that. <laughs> Pause, I figured out the I figured out the or er, landscape mode. I, I see that. Thank you. Thank you. Oh man. What can you do? I know you can't see my face right now, but I want to kind of talk about like what I'm doing as I'm doing it. I used um, the back end of my knife to crush the garlic and it made the skin come off so easily. And then it makes it so easy to chop, like you just like this. Right now in the pan, I have some ground chicken cooking. Um, this recipe that I'm making today calls for ground beef, but we decided to like lighten things up a little bit um, and use um, some ground chicken. Okay, now I'm gonna show you like the easiest way to chop an onion and the way that makes it so that you don't cry. So you're just gonna go ahead and cut it like right down the middle. Well, you want to make sure that you don't cut off um, like this end because that's what activates like whatever makes you cry. You can chop off the top. And you're just gonna like go into it like this. And then depending on how like small you want your um, onion pieces, just cut closer or farther apart. And then you're gonna come through here and cut a little bit. And go through here and then check this out literally so easy and none of that whatever is being released to make you cry is coming out so you can do this i'm going to add this onion to the pot i'll save the other half for later and then i'm also going to add my garlic as well okay so usually i like to buy the old el paso uh seasonings like taco seasoning because it's so easy but i just didn't get one this week for some reason we're going to add some like chili powder, about two tablespoons it says. Okay. Probably, I'm using chicken so I'll probably add like a little bit more of each ingredient honestly. Just 
just to make sure it's good. Cumin. Let's do some paprika there. Uh, it calls for onion powder, but I'm gonna do onion salt. I'm just gonna add that. And this has some herbs in it as well, so nice. And some garlic, so let's just douse that. <laughs> Cayenne pepper because we like it a little spicy. A little bit there. And this here is one cup of just plain old tomato sauce. I'm gonna put that in there. There's two cups of water. Nice. So this is a one pot meal, which is amazing because the cleanup is so minimal. Uh, we're gonna be using the Banza Banza um, shells made from chickpeas. So it's just like higher fiber, higher protein. Um, so I'm gonna just use one. Stir this all into each other. It smells unreal. Dave, can you smell that? It's so good. And it says cook for five to 10 minutes until like the pasta is cooked. So right now what I'm gonna do is make some zucchini actually. Okay, now I'm just getting a pan out. I'm gonna saute some zucchini that we haven't used yet. Um, just so, obviously so that it doesn't go bad. And then just to add some like extra veggies to our lunch. Um, I'm a big like clean as you go person, so if you see me like randomly grabbing stuff, that's why. I'm just gonna put my other half of my onion in the stasher bag and use it for the next meal. Um, stasher bags are amazing. I've talked about them in my favorites video, which I will link just right around here. <laughs> um, they're silicone bags that are washable. You can microwave them. You can put them in boiling pots of water. It's pretty awesome. So I'm just gonna cut them this way. What is this way? I don't know lengthwise. I have a little trick because zucchini gets very soggy so I would just do this and then I will uh, actually cut down to the middle and get rid of those seeds because the seeds are what makes it super watery. Honestly I might actually just cook the other one tomorrow because I like to make things like as fresh as possible so to make it easier on myself for tomorrow I'm actually just gonna go ahead and cut the zucchini now um, because I will be thanking myself tomorrow. <laughs> Today is technically kind of like a work day for me because I'm filming this video and I want to have it up for tomorrow. So I'm still editing. Tomorrow is probably going to be like a real like chill day for us. Um, so I'm not going to want to be doing stuff like this. I'm going to want to just like throw it in the pan and get it over with. So I will help myself out now. It's a good tip for anyone. Do something now that takes like a second um, to help yourself in the future. Okay, so that's done for me for tomorrow. We'll put this in the fridge. It's like a really good way to meal prep without like feeling kind of like you're doing anything or doing too much work. Okay, so I have my pan here. I'm just gonna turn it on to like me. Mm, yeah, medium high is good. Um, and I'm going to add some of my favorite avocado oil. A little bit in the middle there. And once that's ready, I will add zucchini and then I'll add all my spices like once it's in there. Okay, so I'm an idiot and I turned this burner on instead of this burner because, of course, I did. And uh, so the zucchini is just sitting there cold in some cold oil, so that's fun. I think maybe I'll go ahead and like add some spices. Definitely, definitely have to add salt. I like pink, pink Himalayan, there's less like chemicals and processing done to it. I'm gonna add some of this just like garlic pepper. This isn't actually the one that we're using. I made this mix. Literally just garlic powder and pepper. And I'm just gonna stir this up. Just wait. Okay, so I went ahead and added some more um, spices just because, like, I did a little taste test and I could use a little bit more flavor, but now I think it's pretty good. So the last step is turn off the heat and add about a cup of uh, cheese. So I'm just using this, like, triple cheddar shredded cheese, and honestly, this bag is probably about a cup, so I'm just gonna. Sure. This is going to be divided um, by four, so it's like a quarter cup of cheese a serving, which is not crazy. Okay, so we're just gonna add the zucchini. I put it on like seven or eight. 
Um, it goes like seven, eight, and then the max heat, so pretty high. Just because I really like this like charred look. Honestly, I could have cooked both zucchinis, but it's fine. <laughs> One scoop here. It's definitely not cute, I'll be honest. Do one scoop on my plate. We have two scoops here because this is what we're gonna eat uh, tomorrow. This looks disgusting, but it smells so good. We are done. See. That's really good. Is it? Yeah. Yes. Okay, my turn, I guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, white pasta is always better than chickpea pasta. That would be my only complaint. <laughs> okay, update. This is so good. Like the first bite did not do it justice. This is actually amazing. I'm gonna link the recipe um, in the description box. It's just something I found on Pinterest, but so good and so easy. We both highly recommend. All right, so since it's Saturday night, we decided to order in. We definitely like to uh, order out on the weekends, just kind of preference for us. And I did cook lunch here and breakfast, so feels okay to do. <laughs> we decided to go with some sushi. We're not like overly hungry and we know that tonight we're going to definitely be enjoying some snacks and things like that and watching movies. So we just like went a little bit lighter um, and tried not to get as much because we don't wanna waste it. Um, but yeah, so I honestly don't even know what we got. There's a couple like veggie rolls. Uh, I think like a spicy California roll. And yeah, and I got like a bowl of miso soup as well because I was just feeling it. So we're gonna eat this and then Chris gets to pick his movie first. Well, I'm making him pick his movie first because I don't feel like picking right now. And then I have to pick a movie for after. So yeah. <laughs> And like, it looks like they do more fillings than rice. So that's ideal. Let's give it a go. Mmm, that's so good. They use so much less rice, so it feels so much less heavy. Mmm, I think we're gonna be getting this place from now on. Okay, I'm gonna go enjoy that. And then I'll show you my favorite part of the night in a little bit. <laughs> to eat like candy and junk food love candy and junk food probably more than I should but I'm trying to break that habit so we reduce it to the weekends for now and then maybe we'll reduce it more in the future um, but we haven't tried these yet we found them today and we're really excited tropical Swedish berries so we're gonna just like go on and taste test this together because I thought that would be more interesting than seeing just my face oh these are like Oh, they're like Scooby Snacks colors. Nice. Oh, okay. Gotta get like two of each so we can try everything together. First, we're gonna go for Tropical Island. Okay. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> Pretty good. Mm hmm. Like mango y. Mm. Passion fruit. Mmm, <laughs> the more you chew. At first it just tasted like the other one. Mmm, that's nice. Good, yeah. Pina colada? Sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go. Mm -hmm. It's gonna really like chew into them. Mmm, mm. these are really good. And last, um, Beachy Punch, the beach. It 
This one's like more coconutty than the pina colada one. Mm -hmm. No, what is that? I don't know. Chapstick. <laughs> I know. I think that one was my least favorite. Mm -hmm. Passion fruit is pretty good for me. I like pina colada, but I like pina colada flavored things. That's so. fair. Okay, well, that's all. <laughs> okay, so we have this bag that I make Chris hide um, every Sunday night, and he can only bring it out Saturday night. So I've stocked up today on mini eggs because I'm obsessed with mini eggs and I never have this size bag unless it's Easter time. So a few of those, but they last like a while for me. Reese's Pieces for Chris. Um, we got these like peanut butter, like Reese Henry bites. Uh, today we picked up some Twizzlers because we just love a pack of Twizzlers, like fuzzy peaches that we've opened. These are my favorite. I bought a few bags of them like when this whole thing started because I wasn't sure when I'd be able to get them again. Um, but I love these. I've talked about them 8,000 times. Airheads, please sponsor me. <laughs> the Sour Patch Kids that we haven't opened yet. Some like blue raspberry Bigfoots. And we also have these like tropical jalapeno. We're going to see if they're stale because I opened them last weekend. And then, so I don't know if this is like too much, but... We got these bags of like the individual bags of chips. Like I think each of these are like around like 100 to 200 calories. I really like variety. I don't want to buy just like a huge bag of chips. So we just have these so that I can have like one or two small bags so I get a variety. And then today we picked up like the variety Lay's as well because I was really craving ketchup and salt and vinegar. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, well that is it for what I eat on a weekend or I guess just on a Saturday. Tomorrow will probably be the exact same. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a like. If you haven't already, subscribe, like hello. Three videos every single week with a what I eat in a day, a vlog, and something else thrown in there somewhere. So you better hit the notification bell as well to make sure that you don't miss anything from me. So Chris and I are gonna go and watch a couple movies now, spend the night hanging out and relaxing. And yeah, that's it for me. So, see you in the next one. Bye.